Hi, I'm Anastas, Product Engineer for Nonlinear Resistors at Vichy, and this LTSPY simulation session is about battery temperature control by an IC from analog devices using a Vichy SMD and TC thermistor or 603 10 kilo ohms. In this circuit, a battery has been schematically represented first by a nonlinear capacitor with a self-discharge current, secondly by a current source for the charging efficiency, and third, the internal resistance. The thermal model of the battery is here, in fact a simplified core model with two thermal resistors and capacitors. This thermal circuit connected to the power source dissipated by the battery and to the ambient temperature source resulting in a hot spot whose voltage is in fact the battery temperature to be measured by the thermistor. This measurement happens with a certain delay caused by the response time of the thermistor in this system. The voltage provided by a network of fixed resistors and this thermistor will be compared to internal threshold to the LTC4079 in order to prevent a charging of the battery outside of a te defined temperature range. The limits of this range will be converted from temperatures to voltages by the combination of the resistor network and the electrical value of the thermistor at the two critical temperatures. The Vichy thermistor model is defined with a Monte Carlo distribution on the electrical parameters R25 and B. The same applies to the resistance value of the fixed resistors. This way, by repeating the simulation a number of times, we will visualize the influence of these tolerances on the battery charge mode. At periodical moments, this switch will discharge the battery a bit and we will then see how the IC reacts to these actions. It's time for the simulation now. We are going to see what will happen to the battery during a time of 3 hours. The simulation time will, at the contrary, be shorter than 2 minutes. We start up with an ambient temperature of 25 degrees C and we see on the mid pane four temperature curves. These two are the cold and the hot limits respectively fixed at minus 30 degrees C and 80 degrees C. We see also the battery temperature which rises above the ambient temperature V temp during the charge and follows the ambient change variation. Every thousand seconds this switch will partially discharge the battery. After the ambient temperature has gone above the higher limit, we see that the battery level uh, remains stuck at the discharge level as long as Tbat is higher than 80 degrees C. The same process happens for low temperatures. No charge happens until the battery temperature rises above the lower limit. Repetition of the simulation for other tolerances of the passive elements shows you the effect on the voltage level of the battery in this case of extreme ambient temperature change with the perspective of an optimization of your application. 